Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex over at Laser Everything, and today we're going to be working on making some awesome laser bands. Uh, these are bamboo sunglasses that I picked up on Amazon. I've got an affiliate link down in the description if you want to check them out and uh, follow along with this video, but they are wicked. Check out that pattern that we were able to do. We did some text as well, uh, and we are going to be jumping into everything you need to know on how to do this. Uh, we're also going to be tackling it on the CO2 Galvos. This is our first big co2 galvo tutorial and uh, i'm really happy with the results i think you guys are going to enjoy coming along for the ride on this one so don't go anywhere because i'm going to take you through everything you need to know on how to produce these step by step and we're getting started right now Okay guys, so the first thing that you want to do in order to work on sunglasses like these is we really want to take the uh, arms off of the frame here. You can do them with it on, but with the cool designs that we're doing, we don't want the beam to come down past the first band and hit the second one or melt the frame because that's not going to look very nice. So we're just going to grab our handy dandy precision screwdriver kit. If you don't have one of these, I've got them linked in the description and we're going to pop it open and grab our little screwdriver and we need to find the correct bit. So we're looking for one that fits. We don't want to strip these screws out. So we really need something that's going to fit well. If we take a look way down in here, and I'll try to zoom in so you guys can see that a little better. It's just a simple cross screw, uh, but it is pretty small, which is why we want the screwdriver kit. So if we come over here, we can find our different cross screws. And this one looks like it's going to be a good fit. We can just give it a quick test and it feels like it fits in there really well. So uh, this is going to be the bit for us. We can set this aside. And we can go ahead and start taking out our screws. So let's just go ahead and get these out really quick. So there's the actual frames and we can just set these aside until we're done for today. Uh, we also have these little brackets. We don't want to lose these and all of our little screws. So what I like to do is I actually like to store them inside of the precision screwdriver case so that they're going to be right there for us when we're done with the project, we can come back and grab them without having to worry about losing anything. So we'll just go ahead and pop those uh, all in there. And we can close that up. So we know it's secure and set it aside. We're done with our screwdriver. And we've got two really great clean bands for our sunglasses. Um, now we can throw together some custom artwork for these. So uh, let's go into Illustrator and take a look at what we can design to uh, make these things really nice. Okay, so we've got our bands off here and uh, we've got just a simple ruler and we really just want to find a basic length and width. We don't need an exact trace. We're not trying to line it up perfectly. We just need rough dimensions because we're gonna overlap. So we're basically gonna create a square. We're gonna fill it with artwork and then we're going to overlap the edges of the band just so that the band is marked and everything else kind of falls around it. Uh, that's, that's the fastest way to get this done for today's episode. You could go in and kind of like program it an outline here. Uh, and that, that would be a little bit more work, uh, a little more time than we're going to spend today. But it's totally an option if you have the time to work on something like that. For us, we're just going to go for the large overlap method and throw everything straight down. So uh, let's go ahead and just look at our ruler here. You can see we've got our ruler and we want just a basic overall length. So if we start this at zero... We can see we're coming down here, 145 gives us plenty of overlap. We don't want it right to the edge, it doesn't need to be exact. 145 uh, is going to give us a nice overlap on this. So we can do 145 millimeters width. Now for height, what we want to do is rather than starting at zero, so if we, if we kind of hold this up to the zero position here, uh, you can see when we keep it perfectly straight, we're coming way up here. So almost 30 or 40 millimeters across. Uh, and that's not what we want. What we want is the smallest rectangle possible. Even if our artwork's at a little bit of an angle, that's okay for today. If we angle it just like this, you can see we don't really come past 20 to 25 millimeters. Uh, and that sounds much more preferable to me. So let's go ahead and do a 25 millimeter height on our overlap box. And that should give us some pretty decent results. So 25 millimeters. And uh, now that we have some basic measurements for our overlap box, we can go ahead and jump into Illustrator and start programming the actual file. All right, so we have our box size, uh, which is 145 by 25. So let's go ahead and just drop a fresh box in here, uh, 145 by 25, and uh, we'll hit OK. 
and that's going to give us our box and that's actually looking like a decent fit already right there with the artwork if you like the artwork that you're seeing right now uh, this is from frag out design and uh, I will throw a link to his page down in the description if you want to pick up a similar pack he's got dozens and dozens of them uh, and they, they really are cool and super handy especially for stuff like this I think it's going to be great for our uh, our, our little sunglass project here uh, so let's go ahead and just blow this up we just want it big enough so that it's going to fill our box uh, just like that and uh, we'll, we'll kind of center this up so we can get kind of a middle part of the pattern and this should overlay really nicely onto our band here uh, we'll just get enough of the little details kind of throughout the band without seeing like a repeating pattern uh, and that'll look super duper cool so the fastest way to separate our uh, our, our box here um, and, and keep the stuff inside without keeping the stuff on the outside is just to do a quick clipping mask first thing we want to do is just select our outline box we want to make sure this is on top so we're going to right click it and click bring to front that's going to bring it in front of everything else uh, and then we'll select both the box and our artwork and uh, we're just going to right click it and click make clipping mask and uh, once that's done we've got this now clipped into a shape where we uh, we can work with it so the last thing we need to do to uh, get this ready to go is uh, we're just going to come down here and we're going to hit object and uh, we're going to hit rasterize and we're going to rasterize it at 600 dpi and it's just going to take one second and then we'll go ahead and just retrace it and once that's done we can hit expand and right click ungroup and we'll grab a piece of the white select same and fill color and we can delete and this is great because now we don't have any of that leftover stuff around the edges we've got a nice clean expanded vector so we'll just go ahead here and select our artwork and group it uh, so i think it would be kind of cool to have the artwork on one side and then maybe like our logo on the other so we can just grab our caliper real quick and take a super quick measurement just so that we know that our text is going to come in at the right size to mark these i think i want the logo on the right side and the graphics on the left so we'll grab our right side band and uh, we'll turn our caliper on and this spot obviously is going to be perfect for our text so we will open it up and uh, we've got about seven eight millimeters to play with uh, on the height and 40 or so on the width so uh, 8 by 40 or 40 by 8 and uh, we can just come in here and grab the rectangle tool and we'll create a new box 40 millimeters wide by 8 millimeters tall and uh, there's our, our kind of our text bounds there and uh, we'll get rid of the fill on this add just a little bit of a stroke so we can see what we're doing and let's center our text up it looks like it's going to be just about the best size uh, already uh, and we're, we're really close so we can go ahead and just expand this out to the boundaries of the box we were pretty conservative with our measurement there so uh, we'll have a little extra room to play with but this will be a great kind of uh, bounding box for us to look at how the text is going to fall on the band all right so uh, I think we're done. I think we've done just about everything that we need to do. Uh, you can get much, much more complicated with the artwork and, and how you're processing the artwork and setting it up for these bands, but I wanted to keep it simple. It's more about the sunglasses and just showing what we're capable of doing. You can get crazy from there and uh, you know go nuts with these things. So uh, with this all done, we'll just go ahead and save it uh, quickly to our desktop. Uh, so we'll do file, save as, and uh, we will name this something easy to remember. Let's save it to our desktop folder. And we're going to go for something like laser bands, whatever. Uh, and don't forget to save as version 8, because uh, EasyCAD will spit it back at you if you don't save as a version 8. And we'll hit OK. And uh, with that saved, we can now open up EasyCAD and start bringing things in. And we can go start setting up over at the Galvo CO2. So we're all focused and we've got our basic jig set up and uh, we're going to go ahead and open EasyCAD here for the Galvo CO2 and we're going to go ahead and bring our artwork in. So let's import our artwork here. Uh, we know it's on the desktop so we'll navigate to our desktop and there it is laserbands.ai. We can go ahead and open that up. So uh, here we've got our two bits, right? Uh, I've got the right side of the glasses centered up over there right now so we're going to start with just our text and then we'll tackle the uh, the larger graphic here so we'll go ahead and remove that just for the moment 
and we can center up our box and remove our outline this is should be familiar guys with the fiber let's hatch this right uh, for the hatch on this guy we're going to do a 0.05 hatch uh, and we're going to do the uh, broken snake here uh, we don't need all calc enabled that seems unnecessary for this uh, we've got our uh, enable checked and there's no second or third hatch so just the one hatch should do it and with these settings we'll hit ok and we can come over here and pick a parameter so let's take a look and we've got our bamboo setting right here so we'll go ahead and load that in uh, 2000 speed 90 power and 25 frequency will do us just fine okay so uh, with all of this set up and ready to go we can paste our outline box back in and remove our text for a moment and let's go ahead and center this up and then we can light it up and take a look at it over at the machine And now that, that all checks out, we can do one final check here. Let's center our text again and remove the outline. And uh, we'll just take one last look and make sure the text is looking like it's where we want it to be. So after taking a look at the text, I think we're still just like maybe a little bit small. So uh, let's go ahead and just resize this just a little bit. We're at 40 millimeters wide right now. I think we could take it up to maybe like 60. Uh, I think that will look better. Don't forget to lock your proportions. Uh, let's undo that there and uh, select this again with our proportions locked. Let's take it up to 60 and uh, we'll light that. Let's light this instead and see if we can kind of fit it in there because I think it's going to look better a little bit bigger. So we repositioned things there a little bit, but I think that I like the larger size better. So we'll run it and try it. I haven't even done this yet. You guys are doing this uh, for the first time with me here. So um, let's go ahead and run this and give it a shot. this was a great first shot here guys i think we could probably get it a little cleaner but for now i'm going to say this is good and we're going to move on to the other band obviously it's going to take some work to uh, dial things in and get stuff just right but uh, look at that that took three seconds and it looks pretty good so um, i'm happy with this let's see if we can do something a little fancier with our with our cool custom frag out design graphics so back over here in EasyCAD, we can go ahead and get rid of our text because we know that came out great. And uh, let's just back up here and try to find our uh, our graphics from Frag Out. It should be right here. There it is. So we'll just ungroup again and get rid of this. And we can center our graphic up right here. And uh, we're not going to try to light this. This is a lot of stuff to light. So I think all we're going to do is just grab our box tool here and just create a box around that artwork. And we just need to make sure that our sunglass frame falls within the box. So all we have to do here is cut the frame and uh, we'll group this artwork together here. And then we can paste the frame and remove the artwork. And that looks good. Let's make sure our box is center and uh, we'll go ahead and light this up and line up our second uh, sunglass arm. So I've removed the cardboard chip. I'm not so concerned with leveling on this that we, we need to absolutely have this. Um, we don't want it to burn so uh, we're going to go ahead and remove that and then we just want to position our arm so that it is fully within this box we don't need to worry about the metal because we're working on a co2 so once we are sure that every part of this is inside of our box we know that every part of this is going to get hit with some of that artwork so uh, from here we can just paste our artwork back in and we'll be uh, we'll be firing this thing so here we go guys we can paste our artwork back in uh, make sure we hit c to center that up and we can get rid of our box and uh, we just now need to hatch this so we're going to do uh, just a quick uh, hatch job here um, 0 0.05 should still be fine and uh, we can hit okay and that's going to go ahead and hatch that up for us Thank you. 
and what the heck is this right uh, that doesn't look good at all so um, don't freak out it's okay we just need to make a little modification to our artwork to fix this nonsense every once in a while version 8 illustrators just don't agree with easy CAD it's not often but every once in a while it happens so uh, let's get rid of that and we're going to uh, go back into illustrator here and just take a look at our artwork and let's go ahead and file and we're gonna save as and uh, we're gonna do an SVG so instead of an AI file we're just gonna save it as a plain old SVG here and uh, we can go ahead and hit save you can see I've already tested this just to make sure it works I didn't want to waste too much time so uh, we'll hit save there and uh, we'll replace our existing one it's just an SVG 1.1 okay and uh, we'll hit OK and uh, once that's done saving we can close this out and let's come back into Illustrator here and we will import our SVG file and uh, the downside to this you can see uh, if we center this up is that it's huge uh, but luckily we wrote down our dimensions so we know we need this to be 145 millimeters okay so we can go ahead and hit apply and uh, this is going to work perfectly for us we should still be in the bounds of our box and we can hit hatch and we'll hit OK and uh, we should get a nice clean hatch on this and that looks much much better so uh, with that done uh, we'll do a final light and then we can go ahead and uh, run this thing and that's looking really good guys every inch of this thing is going to be covered so we should be in really great shape i did just down focus just a little bit because we are kind of in the center here and we're curving away on both sides so i mean just a millimeter just to kind of even out that focus but uh, we should be good either way the galvo isn't quite as sensitive to focus as the fiber and we're super happy with this so let's stop lighting and we can go ahead and mark it Okay guys, and uh, here it is. Here's the final product. I think that looks really freaking cool, right? I mean, that's that's super, super awesome that we can do that, and we did it so quick. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these put back together, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. I'm just going to go ahead and time lapse it here, because uh, you watched me take them apart. We just put them back together the same exact way we took them apart. So here we go. Oh, hey didn't see you there <laughs> look at these guys come on those are those are super cool right nice and clean really really great graphic on there uh, I'm, I'm super pleased with the way these came out I'm blind because <laughs> I wear glasses but um, yeah I just like I'm, I'm really really stoked on this it's 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 the first really great project result that I've gotten with the uh, with the co2 galvo Let's see if I can just dial in the focus you guys can hang out and check that out for a second. Um, pretty legit. Pretty legit on both counts, right? So uh, anyway, there it is. Just so you guys know, I do have affiliate links to the Precision Screwdriver Kit and a giant box of these. They're super inexpensive uh, down in the description. So if you want to try something similar like this out, go for it. The links are down there. Uh, you can do this just as well with the CO2 on the gantry. If you don't have a CO2 Galvo, that's okay. The gantry can handle this for you too. If I was going to change anything, I would probably use just like a slightly less bold font on the text over here. I think something a little finer would have looked a little nicer, but overall, again, very, very happy with the results. Uh, and, and we kind of nailed it on the first try there. So I'm keeping this bamboo setting because that was a good one. And uh, as always, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to smash the like button. Let everybody know that the content in this video is good. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified 
the next time we post a video. If you really, really like seeing episodes like these and you want to find out all about where to get cool stuff like this and uh, different techniques that you can use with your lasers, go ahead and check out the Patreon. It's patreon.com slash laser everything. There's a link down in the description and uh, you get instant access to my entire fiber and CO2 laser uh, libraries, the parameter libraries. You get weekly, sometimes multiple times a week, weekly uh, Patreon exclusive live streams beyond just what we do on Friday Live Day. And uh, you get posts on like how to run a business. There's a bunch of little goodies in there. Bonus episodes of the uh, podcast, our, our podcast laser source, um, and a whole lot more. So go check that out. Again, link to that down in the description next to the affiliate links and right next to the link to our Discord, our amazing online community filled with people that love laser, they love talking shop, they want to share photos, they want to help people out with dialing in their settings. Uh, it's definitely a place where like, we help people who help themselves, right? So if uh, if you're struggling, you, you really just kind of like bang your head into a wall and you can't figure something out, it's a great place where you're gonna feel welcome uh, and we're not gonna put you down for like, you know, silly questions or whatever. So uh, come join us over on the Discord. If you haven't already joined, we're almost 800 members on the Discord and it's just, it's like exploded into like this crazy big community. So uh, go check that out. And uh, I think that's everything, guys. That's all I've got. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I can't get over this. These look super cool. I need to find a way to like get like, I don't know, prescription version of these or something because, um, you know, I can't see what I'm wearing them, but they look really cool. They're going right out into my display case right now. And uh, that's it, guys. So I will see you in the next one.